What's up, guys? War here. Welcome back to another Diablo 4 Season 7 PTR uh, video. Today, we're going to be talking about the armory and kind of showcasing how to operate this, how to go about it, and how it actually works um, with all of your save builds. Uh, it's so awesome that Diablo finally put this into the game. Uh, however, I do think it's a bit too late. We should have had this on launch, but nevertheless, it is finally here. So, um, each armory will be inside each town. It's going to be highlighted with the this little icon here. I have to go over here to the Tree of Whispers so you guys can see it. Um, it's the top left icon with like an eye with something underneath it. Uh, I know it's hard to see here um, on the armory, but it's highlighted there. It's going to look like this. You come over here and click this, and the armory is going to allow you to save, load, and name your favorite builds. The loadout changes include your equipment, your skills, class, mechanics, and Paragon. So, we have none. We're going to save this. This is Chain Lightning. So, let's go ahead and click Save to our current build. So, this saves absolutely everything. It shows you all of your gear, which I think is awesome. All of your skills. And then the Paragon nodes that you have. So, like, um, it'll show, like, not like every node, but it shows what glyphs that you're actually using, which I think is pretty cool. Um, and then what you can do is you can come over here and you can go to rename and we'll rename this chain or excuse me, ball lightning. Okay. We don't even get enough characters. So I guess we'll just, um, we'll just rename this ball light since we get what, what is that? Four five. So it's nine, 10, 11, 12. We get 12 characters. So ball light. And then what we can do is now this is permanently saved. So now if I wanted to, I could come over here to this. So if I go into my inventory, let's say I take everything off, for example. And we come in here and let's say we want to refund all of our Paragon points. So now my Paragon is completely empty. And then we can save another build. However, before we do that, take a, take a look at the gear here. It has a nice little icon that says Armory Loadout which means that you have this gear that is saved to an armory slot. So it lets you know, hey, don't destroy this. Don't actually mix this up. That it's a part of a saved build that you have inside the armory, which I think is pretty cool. I do really like that, them labeling things. It makes stuff really easy. So now that that's there, we got ball lightning. So let's go ahead and save this second one. And then we'll rename this and we'll, we'll rename it uh, Test. So as you can see on the test loadout, we have half of our equipment here. We have no uh, Paragon uh, Glyph in our first slot, and it does show us the same skills. Okay. Now, if we want, we can, like, exit out of this. Let's say we take this skill off, right? Like, we take these skills off, and then we go back into the armory, and I want to overwrite this. So I'm just going to resave again, and it'll ask if you want to overwrite. No problem. We will overwrite it, and it only shows the four skills we have instead of six. So now here's the cool part, and I want to see how seamless this is. When we go to switch to ball lightning and we do load, load this build to overwrite your current one. So we have like nothing on here. Our Paragon's gone. So let's load this in. That's really quick. Now we have all of our gear. Let's go check our Paragon. And now our Paragon's here. So the armory is awesome, okay? Now we do only get five builds to save per class, but that should be plenty should be plenty. You shouldn't need any more than that. If you do, then I guess just suggest overriding things or maybe make a new character. But for me, each class, I don't think I'm going to play any more than five builds per se. Um, if there's certain classes that have a lot more builds that I would like to try, uh, then by all means, like that's cool. But I really love that the armory is finally here and we can actually, you know, go through and test this and just save these things. It seems very seamless to load in. Boom, switch back. No, I want to play this instead. Gosh, that is good. Now, one more thing that I do want to test is we're going to add a slot here. And now what I'm going to do is we're going to go ahead and pull all of my gear. And I just want to see, I just want to see if all of the gear is going to be pulled from the stash tab. Because this is very important. This is one thing that Diablo 3 does very, very well. It, it'll pull any gear from anywhere. So if it's in your inventory it'll pull it and then if it's in your stash it'll also pull it so let's go ahead and try this let's reload this and see if it pulls our gear from the stash tab bang 
boom. That is awesome. So that's going to make having to only create one sorceress instead of five very, very efficient, very fun. Being able to swap between stuff is mucho dinero. Very great. Very great. So, yeah, guys, this is the armory. Very, very easy to use. Load. Oh, actually, let me uh, let me go ahead and move my camera here so you guys can actually see it. So you got your your save, your load build, your save, and then you can rename. Super easy to do when you're going through and just testing these things. It shows your glyph, all of your skills and your gear. It'll pull it from your inventory or your stash, which is fantastic, and inventory. So big dubs there. This looks like it works very, very well. I'm so, ha so happy to hear this and see this. But it's just it's just a bummer. It took a year and a half for us to get it. So, um, But it is here now. So, guys, enjoy that. And like the video. Comment down below. Let me know if you guys have any other questions about this. Um, I'll be happy to answer them. Don't forget to subscribe, guys. And as always, stay gaming. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.